Hi, I wanted to ask, how would you advise that those of us who plan to stay in California effectively convince others to do the same, instilling the same passion to fight for a conservative California instead of fleeing to other conservative states? Yeah, that's a great question, right? So start local. I think that for those of you that live in Orange County, take back Orange County. Orange County is a great project. Focus on it. It's doable. Um, if you're not personally volunteering for local candidates, get involved. Uh, Orange County is a great first step. It really is on a variety of ways, whether it be congressional involvement, whether it be city council, school board, super important. Look, um, you're not going to be able to change the whole state in just one election cycle. It's not going to happen. Um, I know a lot of people were upset with the results of the recall. I certainly was. But I really was in support of the recall then and now. I thought it was a great thing to show the people in charge in Sacramento that they're at least still going to have to get up and you know, pretend that they represent their voters, spend a bunch of money. And I think it also invigorated a lot of you to get involved in the process that you otherwise would not have been involved in. I thought it was a really beautiful thing. So, um, and also, I just got to say that from a political standpoint, which is not you know, something that, that I'll just talk about personally, not on behalf of Turning Point USA in this sense, which is if the, the races you get involved from a congressional standpoint in Orange County, they can and will determine the future of the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. So all the while it might feel as if the state is lost, but the, there's five congressional districts in Orange County, or did they go down to four now with the new maps? There's three now. There used to be five, if I'm not mistaken, right? There, yeah, there's four. So those four, I don't know how they, they probably obliterated the maps, right? But um, the direction of those four seats will be highly consequential to whether or not it will be Speaker Pelosi or a Republican Speaker of the House, right? That's a very, very important dividing line. Um, and so finally, I'll say with this, though, is that um, one of the keys to saving California is continually getting the churches to rise up and to speak truth. And I, we have some pastors here in the audience uh, that have done such an amazing job. Um, James Cadiz was here, uh, Rob McCoy, Jack Hibbs, uh, so many phenomenal people. And then, uh, look, if you believe California is your home and is your future, then don't allow someone to just automatically take your future and your home from you. Fight for every inch. And I believe that it's going to be a long-term project, but there is, there's a lot more hope for California than I think people realize. Thank you. God bless you. I appreciate it. So the word of encouragement is this. Uh, first, something that is true uh, that you don't want to hear, and then something that is true that you probably will want to hear. Um, it's never going to stop. You will be harassed, called names, demonized, uh, victimized. Uh, you will be smeared and slandered. Uh, you will lose a lot of your friends, um, and you'll doubt whether it's all worth it. Sound fun, right? Well, here's the second thing, though. You will be a stronger, tougher, more resilient person that will look around at your peers one day while they're worried about whether or not they're being called the right pronouns, and you will, be, you will have your direction, you'll have resolve, you'll have a intestinal fortitude, you'll have gusto that will run circles around an increasingly fragile society, and you will have what is so lacking in America today, grittiness and toughness. And that is something that I want to instill in every single young person. So yeah, it's going to be tough. We here at Turning Point USA are here to help you get through that, through our networking events, through our Young Women's Leadership Summit, through our chapter events, through the events like this tonight, so you know you're not alone. But we want to try to continue to rise up the citizen of young people and students to be able to take a stand. But it's going to be tough, but it's worth it. God bless you. Thanks for being here tonight.